Today's big question, does gearing matter? Specifically on a pit bike. This one right here, 16 tooth front sprocket. Front sprocket is gonna do the most for changing your top speed and or acceleration. Going up on the front sprocket will give you more top speed. Going down on the front sprocket will give you more acceleration. This one, 16 tooth. This one, stock, 14 tooth. Let's see, will it make a difference? So these are what, brand new, pretty much 2022s? Brand new. Automatic 125 cc's. So we're doing a very uh, comparable test, just strictly gearing, automatics, no gears on the shifter, just our, our only ratio is gonna be the sprockets. We're gonna have the same operator and rider, Sullivan. He's gonna have the DigiHUD speedometer on his phone running while he's doing the test. Also gonna have the GoPro strapped up to him and I'll have the tripod for the third party shot as the flyby. So you guys will see that. We're gonna do the stock bike first, which is the black SSR here, and then we'll compare it with the 16 tooth front sprocket uh, later on. So and we're hoping for what? Two, three, maybe five miles an hour at the most. And then we'll put a link to the sprocket in the description so you guys can check it out. I believe we got it from Amazon. How much was it? Eight bucks? Nine bucks. $9, so less than $10. You might be able to gain some MPHs and uh, today's video is gonna be all about trying to figure out if that's true. We're going ahead and getting the bikes warmed up. It's, it's super cold today. It's like, what, 35, 40 at most. So a little bit colder temperatures than we wanna see for this, but we wanna do a video on the sprockets and see how it goes. Just hear that clap and she's just sounding so good. Stock exhaust on these. And the nice thing about this test is this is a bone stock bike like you'd buy right off the showroom floor. So we're gonna have the cameras ready. We'll take it down to the road and uh, start our test. I've got a 35 before. That's the longest I've held it. 37. Now we're going to take the one with the 16 tooth, two teeth bigger front sprocket, and see how much MPH is we gain. I'm guessing 40. I Thir think 40. 37 to 40 is what I'm going to guess. So we'll do the same thing, uh, get her going, and uh, see what we get for speed. I feel like it took longer to get up, like it, you could tell it was laboring it more, for sure. As predicted, uh, max speed 40 miles an hour, so three miles an hour gain on two teeth. And you can tell off the line, this one's way slower. Oh, like it, it, the, the clutch must not be able to like adjust for the gearing. 
and that one gets off the line a hundred times. You can yeah, hear that one. Clear. You can hear it. It's like one which one. makes sense. I mean, you know, a higher ratio. I mean, it's gonna make. Yeah. You're gonna gain one, lose on the other. So that's very interesting. I mean, I'm sure. Do they make a 17 tooth? Yep, they do. So I bet you gain another mile an hour with another tooth, but you're gonna, like I said, lose way more acceleration. The GoPro will probably pick up how bad it's laboring. My camera, the third-party shot, you could tell because it took a while to get her going. Right. But there's your test, guys, on the 14-tooth stock versus a 16-tooth aftermarket sprocket. You gain about three miles an hour. And granted, this is an automatic, guys, so we might do this test on a manual. I know you'll hit because I hit 50 stock with a 125 manual, depending on what size sprocket it had on it. I think it was a stock about the same. But they may have these geared down for the automatic for performance so they have acceleration. So I don't know for sure. Right. Maybe we'll try the bigger sprocket on like a manual clutch, see if it makes any difference on that. But this is on an automatic, three mile an hour gain. Are any other thoughts there, Saul? It's a decent gain. I mean, kind of what we expected. Not, yeah. not a whole lot. I expected between three and five. Yep. So perfect. Now if you guys need to go buy a sprocket, it's 10 bucks. Gain a few miles an hour if you're cruising around the streets. Um, or on the motocross track, I guess. But like I said, you're going to lose some bottom end, gain a little bit of top end.